right, so what is the sum of negative x plus 7 over 2x plus 4 and 2x plus 5 over 2x plus 4? So really, I guess what we're just doing here is we're adding two fractions. So we're going to use our fraction skills here. Negative x plus 7 over 2x plus 4. I'm going to leave some room. Plus 2x plus 5 over 2x plus 4. Oh, I guess I didn't even notice that. We already have the same denominator, so I don't need this room here. Um, when you're adding two fractions and they have the same denominator, what always happens? Well, what happens, of course, is that the denominator remains unchanged. It'll still be 2x plus 4. For example, if I have 2 sixths plus 3 sixths, right? This is 5 sixths. The idea is here I have 2 of 6s, 2 sixths, and 3 sixths. So altogether I have 5 sixths. You can draw a little picture, right? We cut this in half. We have two pieces. Then we have 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces. Let me just extend it, sorry. And then 5, 6 pieces. So first we have 1, 2 sixths, and then 3 more. So it's 5 sixths. It wouldn't make sense to add these two and get 12. Same thing here. We leave 2x plus 4 and 2x plus 4. That remains the same. All we need to do now is add the numerators. So it's negative x plus 7, right, plus 2x plus 5. I'm going to use the associative property here because I'm just adding after all. And 5 and 7 will come first to 12. And 2x and negative x. That's just x. So it's x plus 12 over 2x plus 4 which is, well, this is out because they added the denominators to get 4x plus 8. And here, the only reasonable choice is 1, x plus 12 over 2x plus 4. All right, hope that helps.